Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. This is our preview, the finals, the last game of the English, maybe not league, but the competition in general, which is the FA Cup. Manchester United will be in Wembley tomorrow against City. Is Manchester going to be blue or red? We'll know that in the evening after the finals. Guys, before we continue, guys, please, I want to try to in my lineup. I want to justify my lineup. You can see that on my right, on my left side, which is maybe your right side. Yeah, and uh, yes, I want to get your view on the, on the lineup, which is up here. I haven't been doing this, you know, putting the figures all this while because the players have been pretty much shit this year. Guys. If it's your first time here, I'd love you to subscribe. Click a like on the video. We upload videos every day. And those of you who have subscribed, please help share the video because for some reason our videos aren't recommended. Maybe because we are shared. But anyway, uh, yeah. No, I don't. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You know, it's a very competitive platform. Anyway, yes, let me just go straight um, to where we are. I haven't put the goalkeeper because it's obvious it's on Nana right here on the lineup. Manchester United tomorrow will be playing the finals. Um, the FA Cup, which is a very, which has been a very difficult in a very difficult season, which we had. I think United this season has been. Most of you have said it's one of the worst season you have seen uh, experienced as a United fan. I don't know how long you guys have been in uh, been supporting the team, but I do respect your your opinion. I th I still think it's a very, it's a very un we are very unfortunate in this season because we had a lot of injuries and um, counting with some players who started behaving as if they were more important than the club. Look from now, I don't want to talk about all these transfers in these videos because there's some breaking news that united have met other uh, agents uh, managers and also managers in person in the past last one two weeks and uh, which means um which makes me to believe that my dream for elik ten Hag to stay it's becoming a reality that uh, he will be sacked no matter what happens tomorrow but anyway this is where we are because Sky has been sharing this news and all the outlets have been talking about United meeting managers. But we are not that. This video is not about that. This video is about tomorrow, a game in which we, we must win. How do we win this game? Should we match City? How do we make the game uh, get um how do we give ourselves a chance? That is um that is but that is what we have to talk, talk about because I still don't believe we will. Uh, we are we are favorites in this game. We are not even equals, to be honest. Anyway, guys, United last year, you know, we played the same team. That's just the reputation of uh, last year finals against City, where we lost two goals to one. I remember them scoring. I think at the sixth minute was it second or minute? Very early on in the game. It's a long way back. Uh, Gondagon, right? He plays for Manchester. He plays for Barcelona to now. The Turkish German. I always call your country of origin and your nationality. Right, Turkish German, the British Ghanaian, the Ghanaian British. You know, some people come in here and they're angry. Why do I? He's a British, but I, I mean, I'm just saying it. I, 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 I didn't give this nationality. I do respect people's um, heritage. But yeah, this is where I'm going to stand. I think United this game today. We have to really go strong. This is what I'm going to do. I don't know if Tenak is going to do it, but this is what I'm going to do. I'll start. The goalkeeper coming in the pool. This is my goalkeeper I brought. This is a this game is a game which can Ten Hag needs to show intent. If Ten Hag doesn't show intent, if Ten doesn't show courage, if Ten Hag tries to make us sleep behind and play on a counter attacking in this game, and we don't try to control the game, we will be trash. We will be trash. We will, we will definitely be trash. If Ten Hag doesn't try to be courageous, we will be trash. So what I think we should do is we should go with the better players that we have. United have some very good players uh, in, 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 in this club, players who are ballers, who can play football. We have just had a difficult season because of um what has been going on with uh, certain players which i will not call their name today but that had who believe they are more than the club who believe they have a right more than on the club uh, who are i'll just put it this way i won't call their names but they uh they gossip they are a lot of gossip we have a lot of gossip play players who gossip in this team all these messages coming out from the press doesn't just come out from hot air it comes out from secondary information which means relatives tells the press and share this and the press sells it and it's a whole money money making train you know that's how the journalism works. That's why I keep telling you guys. I, I, I mean, some of you who don't watch these videos, I feel sorry because I'm, see, I'm advising you guys. You should believe in what you think because the the press is very good in manipulating, and I'm sure most of you have fallen into that trap already in the past. So this is where I will go. Go with Onana, and uh, the, for us to win this game, we this guy for us not to win the game for us to have a good game. I think Lisandro Martinez. These are the players I would you put that are key for us in this game. These are key players for us this game. 
you might say you you might say Ralph, um, I'll highlight the key players in this game, and I'll tell you guys why I think they are key. Right? These are the three key players of this game. Uh, three, I'll put them in four, and I'll explain to you why I think these players are key. Look at them carefully. I will go Martinez holding midfield. Uh, I mean, sorry, def central defense. He will play alongside with um, you know um, Veran. I found Ten Hag. I should Ten Hag should be wise. He has been in England for some time. He has been around. He should start with his best duo, Martinez and Veran. They complement complement each other very well. Aaron Wan Basaka on the left, Dalo on the right. Um, uh, Mastakasa Casemiro, I think he, he, well, some would think Amrabat should play for the physicality, but I think if you're playing against City, it's not more about physicality, more about your brain, the way you read the game. And I think the maturity and experience of Casemiro will, will count more than the physicality in this game would have Amrabat. These are coming back. Uh, these are one of the players that I think will stand out in this that must be on their game. I think Kobe Mueno has to be on his game united we need to start keeping the ball keeping the ball means we need to play with Kobe menu bruno fernandez for us to have a good game tomorrow bruno fernandez has to be on on point what do i mean he needs to he should not come to the, his lowest point of coming the midfield should be in the center he should just be around here helping to feed the players another player which will really fit us against city for a role that we have not been doing a lot this season it is ahmad why I'm choosing Ahmad over Marcus Rashford? Actually, I would have put Ahmad here and uh, and Ganacho. Uh, G Let me see, Ganacho here, and I put Rashford here. But what I will do is I will keep Ganacho here. Ganacho will play the Rashford role, and uh, and I will keep Ahmad here. The reason why I am keeping Ahmad here is because. Ahmad is very good at holding the ball. United, this is a problem we didn't we had the whole season till Ahmad came. We didn't have players who were good at keeping the ball. We had players who were touching the ball like a hot potato, you know. Just you know, Bruno. Yeah, you can see how Bruno played the game the last time when we played you. It wasn't the Bruno. The last game we played that when Bruno featured, we could manage the game. We should try also and try to control games. If we control control games, the goal will come sooner or later because we have Rasmus Holland. Rasmus Holland will be key with uh, in this system. If we can control the game and give the passes at the right time for Rasmus to move, I think we can get to go. We can get something from this game. I, when I still mean get something, I mean we, we can make the game interesting because I am sorry. I, I, am, I will tell you what I think about the final results. I'm a positive guy running a YouTube channel where people don't watch the videos. I still sit here and talk about the video because I'm positive because I love United. It's not... I mean, some would say many of you would have given up already on the, on the content because we don't get the, the views, you know. But I love this club. Football is my passion. This way, I, I distress. I come and, you know, just relax myself. And uh, I mean, I, but if I'm telling you that Manchester United is going to, to this game tomorrow as massive underdogs, then uh, know that it, the reality, the realism has kicked in. So... I think Ganacho will, will will help a lot in his creativity, but this is not a game where we need an individual action. You know, I don't think against City is a game where you have to be individual. It's a game that you have to play as a unit. So for when we have the ball, we need you have uh, uh, the Dalo Yeg. This is how we will be playing when we have the ball. We should make sure that. City, because the, one of the reasons why I'm bringing these guys in front, bringing Veran and uh, and uh, and um, Lisandro Martinez in the game, even if the Veran started has been training, he I think he played some minutes in the previous game. The reason why I'm bringing Veran in this game is because I really believe that for you to frustrate City, you have to really come up uh, uh, across the pitch. You means you need to use most of the pitch. So for us to be for us to be uh, really uh, productive in this game, we need to we need to try to 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 play a high line. If we cannot play a high line against City, we give them initiative and they hit us up in the break. So maybe I should change it this way. Maybe Dalo comes here and Aaron Wan Bissaka come here because I'm afraid of this guy, which uh, the Daco Doko guy and also. Uh, the English international, who, the former uh, Aston Villa attacker, uh, who plays for City now, because I think Aaron Wambasaka, this is also a very important player in this system. If we can stop the wings of City, we will do really well. 
uh, we know that um, very well that, you know, um, Guardiola's system, he loves playing with the wings. He loves playing with the with the, with the with the side of the pitch. He believes that's the only isolated part because the midfield is always full. So uh, Guardiola will always he, we always make sure that he plays here in the wing. So United, we need to be very uh, we need to be careful. It's not only about the center of the of the the uh, the pole, the pitch, sorry, but also at the wing. So we need to make sure that I mean. Every player have to be on a seven. I mean, for us to for us to win this game, every player needs to at least play or give on their seven. And whenever we have the ball, whenever we have the ball for us to get a goal in this pitch, Ahmad will be very important. They have to be quick transition. Ahmad needs to know how to keep the ball. And, you know, Ganacho, Ahmad, and, uh, you know, so let me put it this way. If Ahmad has the ball, yeah, for example, right? We play with Bruno. The thing is that we can find our attacker quicker. So it is very important our front four, or you can say front three, it will be very important for our front three to to or our front three to play very quickly on our attacker, which is Rasmus. We have seen that if you play with Rasmus very quick, he will he can make a difference. So that's where we are, guys. I want to get your views. I want to get your scores because. I would say that this game today, United, if United plays the best football, they are going to lose 2-1 because of because we're United. But I also think that if we are not in that game, and if all these stories are true, all these gossip about Ten Hag leaving, and uh, this might got into the heads of the players, then we might lose three goals to one, maybe even three goals to nil. And Ten Hag will be sacked uh, maybe tomorrow after the game. But guys, yeah, tell me what you think below. I don't see United winning this trophy. I said this below. But if it happens that United will win, we can meet us after. Meet, uh, by the way, meet us after the game because we do a match reaction. If United wins, this will be yours. We're giving you new one of these. This is our merchandise here. Very good cap here. Yeah. Blood, blood on gold. The United Way cap. So this is it. So if United wins tomorrow, this will be one of yours. So guys, make sure you drop your lineup below. I want to see your lineup. What lineup will you use against uh, City tomorrow? Do you think United has a chance to win? Yes. Should Marcus Rashford start? I haven't even called his name, Marcus Rashford. He's becoming just another player for Manchester United. And this is not this is not my fault. This is Marcus Rashford's fault. Should Marcus Rashford start tomorrow? I don't think he should start because I don't want us to be playing long balls. I want us to be playing. I think he's going to start. I think Arma will be on the bench, but this is what I will use. I won't start Rashford. I'll try to control the game, bring Rashford in the second half for his pace, and we'll work with him. What we'll do is we'll have mid when we have the ball in the midfield, maximum three passes. We we'll just shoot it right to the attacker. I think that's when we have a chance to get a goal. Tell me what you think, guys. Do you think that's a good strategy? Do you think we should pick up Rashford on the bench? Should Arma start? Should do you think Veran should start? Drop your comments below. And yeah. We'll meet up after the game for our match reaction. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.